Hi Cancer, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am here to do your weekly love and general reading for the week of April 17th to the 23rd, 2017. Those of you that are new to the channel, welcome and thank you guys so much for taking the time to subscribe. So for my new subscribers, if the reading does not resonate with you, you could look at your moon um, and your rising sign. And also, guys, there's no gender, um, man, woman, whoever it is for you. Private readings, that stuff matters, but not in the generals. And those of you that would like a private reading with me, all of my contact info is always below the videos um, within a week. All right, guys, the overall energy is the Queen of Wands. I am using Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine's um, Angel Tarot. You guys have some amazing energy this week. Cancer. All right, so the Queen of, it is the Queen of Fire in this deck, but the Queen of Wands. Very creative, fiery, passionate, high energy, ambitious. You know, so, again, you know, no matter if you're a male or female, no gender. You know, this is going to be, you know, your energy for some of you. Um, you know, for others, this could be, you know, Aries, Leo, Sag. That could be very important to you this week. Um, I have to mention, I mean, the Two of Cups is under this. I'm just saying. So is the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. You do have the Ace of Cups here, too, on the table. So this very much, I feel like you guys really are. And we have the Chariot card, which is your energy moving right toward this beautiful Ace of Cups. The only problem is you just might have to wait a little bit for it at the beginning of the week with the Seven of Pentacles. You know, you put a lot of time, you know, and energy into something. You know, you've, you've worked hard, you planted those seeds, and now you're just having to wait, you know, to be able to reap those rewards. You know, from all that hard work, that effort that you put into something. Um, you know, it's definitely something that you worked hard, hard toward with this. You know, and it you're probably having to wait on this Ace of Cups. Falling in love, relationship, spiritual growth, enhanced intuition. So... I do feel like a lot of you have been waiting maybe for, you know, a promotion. You know, the Ace of Cups is a beautiful, blessed energy. You know, it, it's, a, it's a gift from the heavens. It's a beautiful new beginning that is definitely going to fulfill you on an emotional level. You know, so for some of you, this could be absolutely a new job. You know, and then for others of you, you're waiting on you know, the seven of this, the seven of pentacles. You know, the seven of pentacles. You know, with with the seven of pentacles, you know, you're just waiting. It is a patient energy. You know, you're waiting on this ace of cups. I feel like for most of you, you know, and it could be a new job, a new relationship, any kind of new beginning. You know, that fulfills you on an emotional level. And I feel like you, you're really trying to manifest that. You know, you're definitely trying to bring this in. And, and, I, and for the majority of you, I do feel like, you know, by the end of the week, eh, at the end of the week, you are really going to... Um, at least move forward toward this. You know, just a little bit of waiting. No, but this is definitely coming in. You know, the Ace of Cups for some of you could also, you know, you being, um, you know, more psychic. You know, your intuition being more, you know, highly it, it advanced more than usual. But then we have the Chariot card, you know, which is totally your guys' energy. You know, and, and you are moving right toward this Ace of Cups. You're, 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 
full steam ahead toward the ace toward the ace of cups you know so whether you're having to wait or not you know this is definitely you guys moving forward you know this is the ultimate victory card you're in control of of the situation you're definitely starting something you're starting to move move forward toward this new beginning or, or you're trying to manifest something really beautiful um again for some of you you know really could be um a fire sign you know general readings you know sun moon or rising aries leo sag Positive expectations. Healing with the fairies. All of the cards are by Dorian Virtue, except for the love portion, if I didn't mention that. So with this card, you know, keep, keep, you know, your hopes, your dreams, affirmations, your visualizations, and prayers. You know, they are going to be really manifested this week you know don't those of you that feel like giving up maybe you've been waiting too long or feeling like it's just never going to happen you know with this card do not quit i mean you're you're, you're right there right be, there's like you're this close to the miracle for real with that card um and you are i mean you're moving right right for it that's your energy Bless change. Dolphins and the mermaids. Beautiful. Major life change brings great blessings. Even if you feel like your life is upside down right now, things aren't moving fast enough for you, like I just said, you know, just know that everything that's occurring is for the best. With this card, it does assure you that the changes in your life are actually you know, helping you leave behind that which no longer serves you. you know, you're just urged to stay, to stay centered in faith. You know, pray. This change is going to usher in fresh opportunities. You know, and those of you that aren't ready with this card, you know, that aren't ready to move forward, you know, it's the universal energies. It, it really is going to, you know, push you right into this flow. Beautiful reading, guys. Your desire is within reach. Healing with the fairies. Or messages from the fairies, sorry. Have faith as everything is working in your favor. Again, with this card. You know, you are... What do I want to, how do I want to say this? You are assured that your prayers have been heard. They're being answered. The, the universe is working behind the scenes, you know, to help you, to bring this to completion. Even if you can't see any tangible results yet, they're almost visible. You know, it's just, just like with this card and this card, you know, you've planted the seeds both cards right but you have to wait for the seeds to push above the surface right you know just like that seedling it has to germinate um and push and, and push through the surface it's just but but you're but it's sprouting that's the word i'm looking for it, it's sprouting you know, that, that that seed is sprouting into this beautiful, beautiful blessing. Believe in yourself. Have faith. Keep your thoughts positive this week. Overcome procrastination. Those of you that are procrastinating, I really, I feel strong. You're not going to have a choice with this change. But it's beautiful. Some of you are definitely hesitant on moving forward. But 
but this really is an abundant blessing for you. Loving words from Jesus. With, all, with God, all things are possible. Matthew 19, 26. Those of you that want to pick up the Bible and read that first this week. Beautiful. Flower therapy. Open your arms to receiving. There's my proof. You've prayed for help. Now be open to accepting it. With this card, you are... You, again, let me say this first with this card. You know, just like with this card, you are so close to manifesting a miracle that it is right there. The second thing I want to say about this card is you need to be willing to accept the blessings that the angels, God, the universe is bringing you. Accept it. You know, for some of you, you know, you, 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 you may be resisting what the universe is trying to give you. You need to accept help from others, your friends, your family, even God, the universe. Trust this flow, Cancer, because it's beautiful. Yeah, the waiting sucks. I'll give you that. Listen, I'm a Virgo. I'm probably one of the most grounded people in the world. But when it comes to patience, not I struggle with that. I mean, I think a lot of us do, especially when we've been waiting such a long time. But, but really, every card on this table, you're right there. You're right there. Love and relationships. Well, that's maybe what you're afraid to do is take a chance on love. These are Whispers of Love, Angela Hartfield. When we start to love, our lives change forever. And that's what's exactly what's going to happen. But it's a beautiful, blessed change. Take a chance on this new relationship. Why wouldn't you? Did I mention that the Two of Cups is under here? This is really soulmate energy. And listen, <laughs> so is the Wheel of Fortune. The lovers, the two of cups and the lovers is union, soulmate, connection, destiny, karma. This is meant to be, guys. Seriously. Look at the high priestess is under that. Amazing. Really. With the ace of cups, soulmate energy. Absolutely. Maybe for some of you, it's a Gemini. It's a moon rising. I'm just saying. Could be a water sign. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. It really could be any sign. Okay? It's, it's beautiful. And you have to take a chance on that. There are so many rewards that will come to you when you open lovingly. You know, that this, you caring will not only help the other person involved, it's going to create more love for you. Let the fear go and give into the love. It's the, it's love that you're longing for, you're hoping, you're wishing, you're desiring for. I mean, you're going to, you're going to find that it really is beautiful. Like this is definitely a soulmate relationship that could lead to engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Some of you that could be with this chances. You're, maybe you got proposed to. Or waiting on getting proposed to. If you are, that's probably coming. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. This is definitely a karmic relationship. Could be somebody that you, you know, had an intimate relationship with in the past, but not necessarily. Definitely, definitely somebody you know. You either worked with them, work with them. They're definitely around you, and they're probably your soulmate. <laughs> While wow, they are. Okay, that clarifies that. Beautiful. That's beautiful, guys. Really. Well, 
an overall energy card. Messages from the angels, also by Doreen Virtue. cards flipped up okay we have Rochelle as you honor and follow your guidance of your heart prosperity is coming to you now high priestess was under that too the ace of cups is here listen listen to your intuition and whatever it is job relationship whatever it is you are at the end of a cycle in your life call upon your angels to comfort you and guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you now. Both of these cards really just clarify the Wheel of Fortune. You're at the end of a cycle. And it is, it, it really, it, it is, could be a business partnership. Whatever it is, it is definitely bringing in that abundance, prosperity. But you need to follow and trust you know, the guidance of your heart. Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart because it's beautiful. Probably you guys are the... Um, I think you guys are the seventh sign that I'm on. The eighth, sorry, the eighth. Really one of the best. Beautiful. All right, Cancer. Absolutely beautiful. Hope this message helps you guys out for the week. Um, those of you that are not subscribed to the channel, please do so so I could see all of your comment and I could respond back to your comment. Um, if you're not subscribed, I can't. I can't. And I like to do that. All right, Cancer, have a beautiful, blessed week. And I will see you guys back here shortly. Take care. Bye-bye.